Hello, uh, this question is about Ergen equation as well as Darcy's uh, law. And the question is a solution of density 1100 kg per cubic meter and viscosity 2 times 10 to the minus 3 pascal second is flowing under gravity at a rate of 0.24 kg per second through a bed of catalyst particles. The height of the solution above the bed is maintained constant and the bed is saturated with the solution. The bed diameter is 0.2 meter and the depth is 0.5 meter. The particles are spherical with a diameter of 1.2 mm. The porosity of the packed particles is 0.3. Calculate the height of liquid above the bed. Assume at the bottom of the bed the outflow solution enters the atmosphere. Okay, so here basically you have a packed bed of the catalyst particle. There is a solution maintained on top of this uh, packed bed. Let's call this H. Okay, the question is what is the height of this? Uh, liquid above the bed. Here, the, uh, the solution flows under the effect of gravity downward, the diameter of this packed bed is given, the height of this packed bed is given, and so on. So, first you need to calculate the Darcy velocity, and here the rate is given as 0.24 kilogram per second. So, uh, to convert it to the, to the unit of meter per second, uh, you need to divide this by the density times the cross-sectional area of this column. So if you write here Q, the Darcy velocity will be equal to 0.24 divided by the density that is given 1100 times the cross-sectional area, that is pi, d squared, that is uh, uh, 0.2 with the power of 2 divided by uh, 4. And if you do that, you will get Darcy velocity of 6.94 times 10 to the minus 3 meter per second. Okay, that is the Darcy velocity. Now, if you calculate the Reynolds number for the packed bed, you have the equation for that. That will be equal to density times the velocity times particle diameter divided by viscosity times 1 minus uh, porosity. You have all these values here. And if you plug everything here, you get the density is 1100 times the velocity, it is 6.94 times 10 to the minus 3 that you calculated here, times the particle diameter, that is 1.2 millimeter, which is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3, okay? Divided by viscosity, that is 2 times 10 to the minus 3, again given in the questions, times 1 minus epsilon, 1 minus 0.3. And if you do the calculation here, you get the Reynolds number of 6.5, okay? Which is less than 10, okay? So this means, this means, um, uh, we can assume that the laminar flow dominates because Reynolds number is less than 10. Therefore, Ergen's equation reduces to delta P over L equal to 180 mu uh, divided by D with the power of 2 times 1 minus epsilon with the power of 2 divided by epsilon 3 times Q. And basically, since it is laminar flow, you can ignore the second term of the um, second part of the uh, Ergen's equation. So here, you have all the parameters here. You have the Q, you have the epsilon, you have the mu, you have the dp, and you have the length. You can calculate the delta p. That is the pressure difference between top and bottom of this pack bed. So if you plug the values you have, you get delta p over L, that is 0.5, will be equal to 180 times mu, that is 2 times 10 to the minus 3, times uh, 1 minus epsilon, that is 0.3 with the power of 2, divided by dp, that is the particle size, uh, which is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 with the power of 2, times epsilon 3, which is the uh, porosity with the power of 3, times the velocity, which you calculated, 6.94 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay? And if you do the, if you do the calculation, uh, you will get... Uh, this will be equal to uh, 31488, okay? So I can write here, which this will be equal to uh, 31488, okay? So delta P divided by 0.5 will be equal to that, okay? Therefore, delta P will be equal to 0.5 times 31488, which will be equal to 15744 uh, Pascal. Okay?
That's the pressure difference between top and bottom in the unit of Pascal. If I wanted to express it in the unit of head uh, uh, or un uh, unit of uh, length, we know that delta H will be equal to delta P divided by rho G. So this will be 15. 744 divided by rho is 1100 times g that is 9.81 that will be equal to 1.46 meter so that is the pressure difference between top and bottom in the unit of length and we know that delta h is equal to h top minus h at bottom okay so and we know that h top uh, because this is your column, right? This is top, this is the bottom, right? And that is where the liquid is, uh, which we don't know what is the height of this liquid, right? So the hydraulic head at top, if you assume the reference level is here, the hydraulic head at top is equal to the gravitational head, which is the length of this column, okay? Which is given, that is uh, 50 centimeter. Uh, because gravitational head is equal to the vertical distance between point of interest and the reference level. So that will be 0.5 plus the hydrostatic head uh, or pressure potential. And pressure potential is equal to the vertical distance between point of interest and the free water surface, which is H here, you don't know, minus uh, H at bottom, that is equal to 0 plus 0. Because the gravitational head is equal to 0 since the point is located at the reference level and also since the liquid is introduced to the atmosphere the pressure potential is equal to zero so 0 0.5 plus h minus zero will be equal to delta h which you calculated as 1.46 from this equation we can calculate h as 1.46 minus 0 0.5 which will be equal to 96.96 meter okay and that's the solution to this question.